right. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna start thinning down some of the uh, face here, prepping it for mounting. That is this nostril skin down a little bit. This is called a a skife knife, a skiving knife. It's basically used for thinning down leather, but it also works in the taxidermy world for thinning down hide. Very effective. your time. Don't get too aggressive with it. Uh, these skiving, skiving knives will load up with debris and you got to get it out. Just get your little nylon brush like this to just clean it right out. And get it right back clean just a couple seconds. Yep. Now this is what this is how we use the skiving knife. Right here. There's a nostril skin right on down. So we can Okay. Same thing to the front of the lips here. Go down a little bit. Once the knife starts loading up like that, if it's stick, if it sticks, you just push it right out. This is the back corner of the lips thinning out now so they won't be so thick to tuck. Nostrils thin down. Now we got this eye.
doesn't take much pressure. There we done. We done thin that all down. Now what we'll do is go over here to the other eye. Do the same thing. This is just a wooden cone. Kind of like looks like a little short baseball bat, fat on one end, narrow on the other. So you can use it for big areas, and then you can use a small end to insert through the eye sockets as well as the nostrils. So it gives you something to flesh up against. You gotta have something to flesh up against. Then it right on down, just like that. That's all it is to it. Skyving knife. Get it from taxidermy catalogs or you can buy it from an upholstery company. Nylon brush for cleaning. Cheapest place I found, Harbor Freight. Yep, there you go. Fleshing comb that I use here is a homemade one. I think it's made out of maple, maybe I think. Yep. Had it for years. There you go. That's all you need for the doing the eyes and the nose and around the lips. Okay guys, what we're getting ready to do now is we're getting ready to cut a tear duct slot next to the eye with tucking skin. We'll do that on both sides. The, the tool that I'm using is actually a lip tucking tool. Uh, we'll cut the slots on both sides of the eyes. And then after we do that, we'll start preparing the mannequin further to receive the, the high and the glue. It doesn't take a whole lot. Just uh, you, you can use a lip tucking tool. Some folks can use a a screwdriver uh, and here we've turned the mannequin upside down and I'm marking and tracing the lip line with a black pen so you can see see it a whole lot easier and it also makes uh, makes it easy for you when you're cutting a slot into the lip um, you'll be cutting that slot from the back corner of the mouth all the way around to the other side to the back corner for the back yep, corner you'll be making that uh, cut slot in there a little bit bigger to accept that skin where it gathers up in the back corner of the mouth and then we'll also be uh, working on this nostril area here uh, I'm going to take a black pen and color in with black and that'll be the area that you need to use a tool to hollow out so you can take the skin and take it and bring it inside the nose there inside the nostril area and tuck it in and, but on this particular mannequin, we're going to put a septum in there so that you can actually see if you shine a flashlight in it, it'll look, it'll look like you can actually see the animal septum and see the uh, blood vessels and the veining in it inside the nose. We'll get to that here shortly. But we're just going to mark the area like this. And we're going to get, start preparing to uh, cut that area out. And how, you'll be able to. Once it's hollowed out, you'll be able to see all the way through it. See daylight on the other side. Matter of fact, here's a, a casted nose of a live white tail. And you'll see that area there I'll point out that we don't, do not want to cut away. We want to give it that three-dimensional look. To be careful and leave. With the corner, the, the area we want They're to hollow right out. There back there deep with that pump right there at the top right of the nostril where the uh, point in the eye stick we do not want to cut that out we want to make it look as natural as possible and you'll see that area that just like that area right not there with the black and pink. we don't want to cut right we want to come up here we're going to hollow out the black area and stop right along there the, the white and hollow all this out That's all there is to it. All right. 
going to show you a couple of different tools that you can use for doing this uh, nose work. You can you, that way you don't have to have a whole. If you don't have a whole lot of money, you can get by with simple hand tools like a simple rasp file. You can use that. Uh, if you got a Dremel, you can use a Dremel. And then if you start getting into the more fancier tools, uh, this is a Fordham tool. Uh, operates just like the the uh, Dremel. It's just a more more expensive tool. But uh, like I say, any of those will do the job. But today we're going to use the Dremel, and the size drill bit that I use is a 764. Basically. up here that's that's the one we use right there maybe that'll come into focus for you yep that's the one right there okay real simple we just take it and chuck it up in the unit leave about Maybe two and a half inches sticking out. Tighten it up. We're ready to go.